Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm here again with another pick a card reading and this reading is what does this person really want to happen between you both? What are their deepest desires in terms of what they want to happen in regards to your connection or in regards to your relationship? So we have three sets of cards today. Set of cards number one is the green crystal, set of cards number two is the pink crystal and set of cards number three is the blue crystal. So if you would like to receive these readings every other day then please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon and turn on all notifications and that will notify you every time that I do release a reading. On average it's every other day that I release these readings and they are mostly about love and soul connections and if you'd like additional readings every single week which are exclusive to my email subscribers then please sign up to those by clicking on the link below this video. So I'll give you some time to tune into the energies of the cards and it's okay to be drawn to more than one set of cards as well. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So this is set of cards number one, which is the green crystal. So what does this person want to happen between you? What are their deepest desires in that regard? So you have the unicorn playing cards. The ace of wands. The five of cups. The Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. From the True Love reading cards, you have Spiritual Maturity, Yin and Yang. Sorry, I didn't realise that was in the corner. From the Romance Angels Oracle cards, there's reconciliation, getting to know each other, and from these healing cards by Caroline Miss, there's perform every act as if it were your last. I'm going to move these to under here actually. And a cheerful expression brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones. Okay, so what does this person want to happen? So their biggest desire within your connection is about truth, is what I'm feeling. They want to be their real self with you. They want you to be their real, your real self with them. Um... They want a passionate new beginning is what I'm feeling based on honesty. Um, they want to heal any arguments or disharmony is what I'm feeling because there is the three of pentacles, sorry, the three of swords and the five of cups here. So that's heartbreak and feelings of loss. I feel as though this person... Um, they want to be more passionate with you in terms of taking charge or taking the lead or expressing themselves. Um, they're feeling a lot of sexual desires as well as what I'm feeling. They want to bring more passion into the connection because they're worried that you're not feeling like satisfied within in this connection. They're worried that things are too stagnant or they're worried that um, a lot of issues have got in the way of the connection um, and so they're worried about you disconnecting I really feel as though deep down this person does want the best for you they want to be a good provider um, so yeah 
if you're in separation with this person, then they do want a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life and they want intimacy on all levels is what I'm feeling because we have the getting to know each other card as well. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So they really want a deep bond with you based on sincerity, based on authenticity. And yeah, I feel as though this person wants to sweep you off their feet, off your feet. They want to um, really take action. I feel like they want to be like the traditional role in the relationship. For most of you watching this, they want to, you know, it's a, you're thinking about a man. So they want to be a traditional man. But, you know, take it however it resonates, you know, if it's a woman. They want to um, really fulfill your needs is what I'm feeling. They may be worried that you're getting fed up or tired or bored with the status quo in some kind of way because they are fearing a loss with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. I feel as though this person's going through a lot of heartbreak though. There are a lot of things going on in this person's life, maybe a lot of drama. There may be some painful endings or just really painful things happening within their family or within their friendships um, or within work or, you know, with what's going on right now. In the world, you know, all of this I feel is culminating at this time within this person. So they're really feeling worried that their fears and anxieties are, you know, making them isolate themselves too much. They're afraid that you're feeling left out um, or you're feeling left in the dark um, because they know that they're very much stressed out right now. They know that they're very much... Um, in their man cave or their woman cave they're going through a lot of pain they're trying to heal that it's almost like they can't fully concentrate on your connection at this time because of a lot of karmic um, situation a lot of karmic lessons that this person's going through and it's a really heavy burden on this person they've really lost their um what's the word, motivation in a lot of ways, but they're, they're worried that, you know, it's making you feel fed up or it's making you feel um, as though you're left out in the cold. So five of cups, they may be, you know, they're wanting you to still have faith in the connection. They're really desiring that after... Um, they've gone through these difficulties or your relationship's gone through these difficulties. They really are hoping for that reconciliation because the Five of Cups normally shows three cups that are spilt over, that the person's concentrating on now, um, but there's still, there's still two cups behind them that are standing upright, which represents the Two of Cups card, the happy, balanced relationship. And um, right now, this person cannot focus on your connection for whatever reason, a lot of painful situations. <clears throat> but they really do feel passionate about you overall, you know. They really do want you to be together. Um, but one of their deepest desires right now is that they really hope that you know that it's not personal they hope that you know how passionately they feel about you and how much they care about you and how much they love you um they but they know that they're not like really in the best of places right now um to be able to really what's the word um reassure you of that but they're hoping that you just know deep down they may not fully realize that you don't know that um but they are wanting the best for you is what I'm feeling. They are worried about how you feel. Um, there's a three of pentacles here. So they're really wanting to um, work together in this relationship when this time is right. I feel like it is a spiritual connection because the three of pentacles traditionally in the tarot shows them working together to build a cathedral. And there is the spiritual maturity card and the yin and the yang card as well. And so 
they're wanting this balance they want to be a good provider because this card is about the architect and he's kind of standing higher than the other two people and they're kind of looking up to him for advice um and he's the expert so this person really desires that you can see like the good qualities within them they're really desiring that you respect them um and in terms of you really see who they truly are and you truly value who they are as a person because this person wants to give you the world you know there's the nine of cups um, and this is the wishes fulfillment card they want to you know make your dreams come true they want to um fulfill you in every way that you desire you know that is their goal that is their dream come true to be in harmonious connection harmonious yin and yang relationship with you um but they're really desiring that you continue to be understanding and they know that they may not be the best at communicating what's going on with them, communicating their emotions, communicating their difficulties, but they're really just hoping that you know deep down in your heart. This person's deepest desires is for you to work hand in hand towards both of your spiritual ascension, spiritual maturity, creating balance between you both so it shows them walking up this mountain and there's a few clouds you know the clouds of illusion blocks fears conditioning this person's deepest desire is to walk hand in hand with you through these difficulties and create harmony and balance and peace and you know work all the way up to the top where there's that third eye um seeing clearly spiritual awakening spiritual ascension they really feel as though you are their soulmate or twin flame you know whether they know those labels or not of the twin flame the label doesn't really matter um yeah they're really wanting harmony they're wa wanting such a depth is what i'm feeling within this connection like a true spiritual depth um, this is someone I feel who wants to do things right. They want to do things thoroughly. They want to create a really solid, firm foundation between you two. Um, they want union. They want oneness. Reconciliation. Some of them, they already feel as though, you know, they've met their soulmate and you know this is what they're saying they and they're so happy and you know they're desiring this connection they're desiring you for others of you who are in separation then they really are wanting to come back together they're in the clouds here it's very heavenly they feel such a heavenly spiritual connection with you and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so again there's talk here about deepening the bonds a really close intimate union on all levels this person really wants to know you inside and out and they want you to know them inside out you know they it's almost like they want you to like fully mesh together in such a profound way and we have perform every act as if it were your last all the spiritual masters tell us to make every decision and choice as if our whole life could be changed because of it today be mindful only of who you are in each and every action so this person wants to be the best version of themselves you know they're walking along that tightrope to me it's like they're taking a leap of faith. They want to take risks. I do feel this person is um, a risk taker, or if they're not, then they are going to start taking risks with you. Um, if there's been issues, if they've been triggered in ways um, which haven't contributed well to the connection, 
let's just say, then they're wanting to heal those um, aspects of themselves so that they can be balanced, um, so that they can be harmonious within themselves, so that they can be that way within your connection. Um, this person, they really, really do want the best for you and to provide the best. And the final card is a cheerful expression brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones. Here's a task. Be the bearer of only good news today. In living out this task, note whether you find it difficult to maintain and if so, discover why within yourself. So, yeah, this person wants to be much more optimistic. They may have, you know, been very pessimistic with the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. You know, they don't want to drag you into their drama. Um, there may have been some kind of conflicts, perhaps, for some of you, if this person had a tendency to be very pessimistic um, or thinking the worst case scenarios and kind of letting their mind run away with them in terms of negative thoughts and that was having a detrimental effect on your connection this person now they really want to be the best version of themselves they want to be much more positive they want to bring positivity to your connection um, because they want to see you happy you know they don't want to feel like they're dragging you down emotionally um they want to lift you up. They want this ascension, happiness, joy with you. And right now that is their deepest desire. So I really hope this reading has resonated with you. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon, turn on all notifications and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. Currently, I'm releasing readings every other day. Um, but if you would like additional readings every single week, which are exclusive to my email subscribers, then please sign up to those as well by clicking on the link below this video. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye. So this is set of cards number two, which is the pink crystal. And you have the donut lovers playing cards and some oracle cards as well so what does this person really want to happen between you both what are their deepest desires in that respect so there's the ten of swords in reverse the two of swords the ten of pentacles The Ace of Swords, the Six of Wands. From the True Love Reading Cards, there's Manifestation and Intimacy. From the Romance Angels Oracle Cards, there's Give Your Relationship a Chance and Past Life Relationship. And from the Healing Cards by Caroline Miss, we have a visit or call from a friend can heal you. Which obviously can't be done right now with lockdown. But resisting change leads to illness. Accepting change brings about peace. Okay, so what are their deepest desires in regard to you and your connection at this time? So, let me just tune in for a moment. Well, they definitely want to overcome um, any blocks within your connection. The Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person has a lot of fear when it comes to rejection. Because this is the card about being stabbed in the back. Um, so in the reverse position, it's like internalized. They really, really fear um, that you're going to reject them in some kind of way or that the connection, the relationship isn't going to work out. 
they're really afraid of it not working out because like really deep down in their subconscious, they will take that as the universe is rejecting them or God is rejecting them, you know. They feel as though it's down to the universe, you know, whether this works out with you or not. And so they have this really, really deep fear that they're not good enough in the universe or God's eyes for this relationship with you. So it's almost like they're afraid to dare to want to be with you um, too much, you know. They feel extremely emotionally invested in you and your connection and the desire to be with you to the point where it frightens them so much because they feel like they could be crushed at any moment if things don't work out, if you meet someone else, if you reject them. They're afraid of getting too close because they don't feel worthy basically. And so that's why they feel as though the universe is just going to make it fail because they don't feel good enough. Um, and so this is probably tied into like social conditioning or parental conditioning, maybe like religious, even if this person isn't religious, there may be like um, religious teachings, you know, that kind of affect the whole of society sometimes about you know, feeling shame, not feeling good enough, feeling judged by God or the universe. Um, and so I feel like on a deep level, that's really affecting this person without them even fully consciously realizing it. And so they do have this belief that they're just not good enough as a person. And so they fear that the universe or God would pull the rug from beneath their feet if they dared to um, get close to you and really try and make things happen. Um, and that's why they have this Two of Swords. This is the energy of being at a crossroads. To me, this is like the Catch-22, um, where they want to take a leap of faith. They want to take action. They want to reach out to you. They want to communicate. They want to give your relationship a chance. They want to work on the partnership. They want that intimacy. They want to be with you, you know. But they're afraid of if they do all those things, then like I said, they're afraid it's not going to work out. But then the catch-22 is they may also be afraid that if they don't take action, then they're also going to lose you. And so that's why they're in this Two of Swords energy where traditionally she's wearing the blindfold um, and the Two Swords are crossing over her chest. And it's like this person just doesn't know what to do. Um, they feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. They fear losing you, you know. They may feel, in a sense, more comfortable in the, the current dynamic that you have going on because then they feel, well, at least I have you in some kind of way. They definitely want more. Their deepest desire is to be with you in a relationship because um, they feel like you're their soulmate with this past life relationship card. Um but they're like petrified that it will all just fall apart or they'll fail or the rug will be pulled from beneath them if they try to move things along. So right now, they have these desires very deeply to be with you, but they also have very deep fears. And so they don't know what move to make. They don't know what steps to take. And so they're kind of not taking any steps right now, but they definitely want to be with you. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the happy, solid, secure relationship on all levels, including being physically together. And this is all about them wanting to be a good provider. This is what they fear, though. They fear that they're not going to be a good provider 
So they may be trying for some of you to provide for you in a kind of wearing a mask kind of way. They may be trying to prove themselves to you or impress you or, you know, they may be saying, talking about the future a lot and promising you a lot of things. And it is because deep down their deepest desire is to give you all of those things. But, you know, they feel stuck in major fear. It feels like a life or death situation, whether this works out with you or not, because, you know, they're so emotionally invested in you. You are their deepest desire, basically. And so there is the Ace of Swords. Um, so this is all about them wanting to spill their guts <laughs> about how they really feel about you. Because when I see this, the jam is like squeezing out of the donut. And to me, that's like their emotions. That's the, their core. They, it's, you know, wanting to leak out. They're wanting to express themselves. Their heart is overflowing. They can't contain it anymore. And so they want to break free from whatever's creating these fears. They want to break free from their doubts and stagnation. They want to move forward. They want to fight for your connection. They want victory when it comes to your connection. This is the Six of Wands, victory after a battle. This is like an inner battle. Um, battling their inner demons, their inner fears. They want victory in love because six is the number of love. And they want, like I said, to be a good provider for you. They want um, you to be proud of them for overcoming their difficulties, their struggles. That is their deepest desire, that one day they will be strong enough to really go for what they want, overcome their fears and make it happen with you. And they're working really hard behind the scenes to try and manifest that, to create that. They literally want to manifest intimacy, closeness, your reunion, um, your reconnection. This is what they're desiring. This is what they're thinking about all the time. It's what I'm feeling. They want to be really romantic with you as well. Um, so, yeah, they're literally, some of them are working really hard to try and heal themselves and manifest a balanced union because there's the infinity symbol here. It's like you and it's them and oneness. And it's interesting because the, um, you know, they, they feel so such deep love in their heart for you. They want the physical connection. They have a lot of desires for you physically as well. And in the middle, their, their heart and their desire is what's manifesting this um, sacral chakra energy, which is self-esteem, willpower, taking action, being confident to do that. So their desires are what are spurring them on and giving them this push to face their fears. Their deepest desire is to give your relationship a chance, work on the partnership, look at how intently he's looking at her. They want this embrace. They want things to work out, basically. And again, it's because they feel that you are their soulmate with this past life relationship. You have known each other before, and yet again, look at him and how he's embracing her. And this person, I do feel they will overcome their fears when the time is right. They will give the relationship a chance. They will take action. A visit or call from a friend can heal you. You can also heal a friend in the same way. Is there someone you've been wanting to contact but have, haven't have made time for today? Make the time. So, yeah, they really want to reach out. They really want to send you love. It's really interesting with what's going on in the world right now and lockdown and everyone's, 
got to stay at home and that. So it's like sending love from afar to you, to where you are at home. Um, they want to send love to you. They want to contact you. They want to speak to you. They want to overcome their resistance. Resisting change leads to illness. Accepting change brings about peace. Embrace the changes in your life. Release what you no longer need and welcome the seeds of new experience. So yeah, this person is really um, in the throes of um, healing their resistance because of that fear and really breaking through, walking through a new door, a new beginning with you. That is their truest desire. And in divine timing, they will be doing that. So I really hope this reading has resonated with you. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. If you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and turn on all notifications. And that will notify you every time I release a new reading, which currently is on average every other day. Um, and if you would like additional readings every single week, which are exclusive to my email subscribers, then please sign up to those by clicking on the link below this video. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye. So this is set of cards number three, which is the blue crystal. And you have the fruit deck playing cards. So what does this person truly want to happen between you? What are their deepest desires for your connection? So there's the 10 of cups. The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Cups. The Six of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. So there's really, really positive energies here. From the True Love reading cards, you have Reparenting Yourself and the Divine Feminine. From the Romance Angels Oracle cards, you have Separation and Very Soon. And from the Healing cards by Caroline Miss, there's Love is Like a Deep Pool That Never Dries Up. And Life is a Circle from Childhood to Childhood. Okay, so... On, I'm going to read the back of this as well. You have more to give than you realise. The only expectation you should have in giving to others is what you expect of yourself. That's how you stay replenished. And this one here, life is a circle from childhood to childhood, says childhood to childhood means a spiral of new beginnings relationships begin anew every day give your attention today to renewing a relationship initiating another spiral of life into a life that you share with someone so this is their deepest desire you know this says the love is like a pool that never dries up um their love for you is never ending and this is like a never ending cycle of life. Your connection, your relationship is always renewing the fire, the passion, the excitement, the soul bond is everlasting and keeps renewing is what I'm feeling. And they're wanting to renew your connection. They're wanting to revive your connection. They may have had some doubts in the past about um, some fears that they couldn't give enough and they may not meet up to your expectations, basically. They're hoping that your love is never ending for them as well. You know, they may feel that you are twin flames here because you're like mirrors of each other, helping each other. And this is like cycles. You may have gone through some karmic cycles, some lessons, some difficulties, and... um but you're helping to heal each other on such a deep and profound level. And they're just really wanting that to continue. They're wanting a fresh start within your connection as well, because I do feel there has been a separation 
time apart from your partners on the horizon, but very soon, you know, they want this reconnection. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You know, they want to be with you. You know, look, very soon it's about them embracing, it's about them being together, holding hands, just like in this card. Holding hands. So, there's the Ten of Cups. You know, this was the first card that came out. Their deepest desire is for you to be together in a happy relationship and having it all. This is like the deepest fulfillment that one can experience in terms of a relationship you know they want fulfillment for you both together in terms of spiritually mentally physically emotionally they feel this deep connection to you on all levels and 10 is the conclusion card they want the conclusion for you both to be together in a happy relationship and it is definitely spiritual with this three of pentacles. Traditionally, this shows them working together to build the cathedral. This person wants to and is by your side, you know, even if you are in separation in the higher dimensions and mentally as well the mental dimensions you're always one in the heart dimension as well obviously um you're always connected you're always feeling each other's emotions this person wants a renewal of that perhaps you withdrew your energy from this person or they withdrew their energy from you for a while because there needed to be some kind of time of separation to do inner healing Reparenting, reparenting yourselves, working on your self-love. Their deepest desire is for this healing, really deep healing to happen so that you aren't looking to each other in a codependent way because they're realizing that that codependency, you know, looking outside of self to each other for validation and approval and all things like that and feeling like it's a life or death situation, whether they, the, the person commits to us or not. Um, they're realizing that now through this time of separation that that was not serving your connection that was creating a lot of karmic cycles it was creating a lot of up upheaval turbulence roller coaster pain um a lack of faith a lack of belief and that was all manifesting and creating a huge like tangled mess um so they're really, really desiring that you, during this time of separation, that you're both truly healing yourselves, you know, creating your own self-love, giving yourself the love, the validation, so that you both aren't, are no longer, you know, having codependency and creating all that turmoil um, and kind of craziness that was creating separations and tower moments and heartbreak and all things like that. They're really hoping that you've both healed, they're, they're desiring you as the divine feminine. Um, and yeah, they want to be, you both to be cooperative, work together um, in, on all dimensions, um, physically. But right now, um, I really feel as though you're working together in the 5D, in other dimensions. You are soul family. Three of Cups, they're desiring a reconciliation. And that would be a great like celebration. They want to come together. They want to feel this happiness, this joy of you coming back together. And their deepest desire is you, you know. Um, this is the Six of Cups. And this is the Soulmate card. This is also a reconciliation card. It's, this is the card of someone from your past is returning to your life. So that's really good if you're going through a separation very soon. You know, very soon someone, this person is going to return to your life. You're going to hear from them is what I'm feeling um, they just feel 
so uplifted, so excited. They, they see your innocence. They feel their own innocence through your connection. They feel this oneness. It, it just feels right to them. And this is also a card about them reaching out, expressing their love to you. In the traditional tarot, it shows the boy giving the cup with the flowers into the girl. So yeah, this person wants to make a gesture of love to you. They want to express their love, their feelings, um, wear their heart on their sleeve with you so that you can come back together. They want to make amends if there's been difficulties or conflicts um, or heartbreak in the past. They want to reach out. They want a new beginning, a new cycle with you. They want to work and walk hand in hand with you. And there's the Nine of Cups as well. This is the Wishes Fulfilled card. This is um, deep fulfillment. And yeah, they feel on cloud nine with you. And they really want to ground the connection. They, they want to be with you. You know, there's all these um, cups cards or love and emotions. And really, this person's really longing for you. Um, they're, they're longing for that separation to be over, over um, so that you can be together again in a much more harmonious, much more spiritually mature way. So I really hope that this reading has resonated with you and if it has then please like share and subscribe and if you do subscribe please tap the bell icon and turn on all notifications and that will notify you every time I release a new reading which at this time is on average every other day and if you would like additional readings every single week which are exclusive to my email subscribers, then please sign up to those by clicking the link below this video. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye.